Welcome to the class students. In this class, we will solve some problems on measures of dispersion and I will start with problems on range and quartile deviation. Okay? Problems on range first. Find the range, find the range and its coefficient for the following data following data 23 53 81 yes this is the data they have given the formula to find range is range is highest minus lowest and to find coefficient of range highest minus lowest by highest plus lowest and in the given data first we will write the highest value highest value is 81 and the lowest value is 23 highest value is 89 and lowest value is 23 so highest value is equal to 81 lowest value is 23 substitute that so range is equal to 81 minus 23 this is 58 so range is 58 next to find coefficient of range it is highest minus lowest by highest plus lowest this is 81 minus 23 divided by 81 plus 23 this is 0 0.557 this is 0 0.557 next one if the least value and the highest value in the data are minus 8 and 60 find range and coefficient of range range and coefficient of range instead of giving the observations they have given the values highest value and the lowest value First, we will write that least value L is equal to minus 8, highest value H is 60. To find range, it is H minus L, 60 minus of minus 8, minus of minus 8 will become plus 8. So, this is 68. Next, to find coefficient of range is highest minus lowest by highest plus lowest. This is 60 minus of minus 8 divided by 60 plus minus 8. So, this is 60 plus 8 by 60 minus 8 and at last it is 1.307. This is coefficient of range. This is coefficient of range. This is 1.307. 7. Since here we are having the lowest value in minus sign, so at last you will get like that. Okay. Next one. If if Q1 is equal to 36 and Q3 is equal to 64, find QD and its coefficient. So, directly they have given the Q1 and Q3 value. To find quartile deviation, it is Q3 minus Q1 by 2 and to find coefficient of quartile deviation, it is Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. First, we will find Q3 uh, quartile deviation. It is 
64 minus 36 divided by 2 and the value is 14. Next, 64 minus 36 divided by 64 plus 36, this is 0 0.28. This is 0 0.28. Next one, if, if QD is equal to 17, Q1 is equal to 22, find Q3. Instead of giving Q3, they have given the quartile deviation. Using that, we have to find the Q3 value. But we know that QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2. So, substitute the values of QD, Q1. Then you find, after simplification, you will get Q3 value. This is 17 is equal to Q3 minus 20, Q1 is 22 divided by 2. First, you take the cross multiplication. So, you will get Q3 is equal to 34. And I will shift this to this side. This is plus 22. So, Q3 is equal to 56. Q3 is equal to 56. Next. Calculate semi interquartile range, interquartile range, and its relative measures. Okay, and the data is like this x and f. X is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 3, 61, 132, 53, 140, 51, 3. Uh, to find semi interquartile range, semi interquartile range is nothing but we have to find QD. Semi interquartile range is nothing but QD. To calculate QD, to calculate QD, we have a formula that is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. So to find QD, we want Q3 and Q1 values. We know to find Q3 and Q1. So first step is find LCF for this. LCF for this, this is 364, 196. 349, 489, 540, 543. And here the total n is also 543. To find Q3, Q3 is 3 into n plus 1 by 4. 3 into n plus 1 by 4. So Q3 is 3 into 543 plus 1 by 4. So, Q3 is equal to this observation. Okay, this observation. So, this is uh, 408 observation. 408, we have to see in the LCF, uh, that is 489. I will block this. The value corresponding to this LCF in X column, that is 60. So, Q3 is equal to 60. I will repeat, we will, the, we will see this 148 observation in the LCF, the TRR number is 489 and corresponding to in the same row, the uh, X value, X value we call it as a Q3 value. Similarly, find Q1, Q1 is N plus 1 by 4 and this is 543 plus 1 by 4 and this is a... Uh, 136th observation. 136th observation, it will come in 196. So, I will block this one. The value corresponding to this LCF in X column, it is 40. This is our Q1. 
and this is our Q3. So our Q1 value is 40. Q1 value is 40. Now you find QD and its coefficient. So QD is equal to 60 minus 40 divided by 2. This is our 10. Then coefficient of QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. This is 60 minus 40 by 60 plus 40 is 20 by 100. This is 0 0.2. We are calculated coefficient of QD and QD for discrete case. Okay. We have calculated for discrete case. Next. Calculate coefficient of QD for the data given below and here it is class interval and frequencies 60 to 64, 64 to 68, 68 to 76, 72 72 to 76, 86 to 80, 80 to 84, 84 to 88. Frequencies 12, 18, 16, 14, 12, 8, 8. So to, we have to find coefficient. To find the coefficient, we want Q3 and Q1 value. So the first step is to find the LCF. It is 12. 30, 46, 60, 72, 80, 88. So here n is equal to 88. Since this is class interval problem, to find Q1, it is uh, n by 4th observation. Only n by 4th we will take, not n plus 1. So it is 88 by 4. 88 by 4 is 22nd observation. 22nd observation will comes in LCF that is 30. So, I will block this one. Okay. So, Q1 is equal to L plus N by 4 minus CF by F into C. N by 4 we are already calculated is 23. CF means the previous one. Above that one. And frequency is the corresponding frequency. And C is the width of the class interval. For this it is 4 and L is the lower limit 64 plus 22 minus 12 divided by 18 into 4. So Q1 is 66.22. Q1 is 62 66.22. Similarly, find Q3. Q3 is 3 times n by 4. This is 3 into 22. It is 66th observation. 66 will comes in 72. In LCF we have to see. In LCF 66 will come to comes in 76. So I will block this one. And for CF this will be our CF. And this is our F. And lower limit is 76. Q3 is L plus 3N by 4 minus CF by F into C. I will substitute the values. That is 76 plus 66 minus 60 divided by 12 into 4 and Q3 is 78. After finding Q3 and Q1, find coefficient of coefficient of quartile deviation. It is Q3 minus Q1 by Q3 plus Q1 and substitute the values. 78 minus 66.22 divided by 78 minus 66.22 it is 0 0.0816 0 0.0816 for further problems for next type of problems this to find quartile deviation only quartile deviations 
uh, or to calculate quartiles it is very very important thank you